The Ecology Center in Berkeley, California runs one of the oldest curbside recycling programs in the country. About 15 years ago, recycling piles like these used to be primarily composed of newspaper and glass. Today, about two thirds of the items are plastic. And even though the piles are lighter, all the different types of plastic create other problems. This gets in a bale with the, the natural HDPE. And this is now a contaminant for this, this bale. Um, you know, nobody can do anything with this. Ecology Center Executive Director Martin Bork supports California's new law that will require all packaging in the state to be recyclable or compostable by 2032. And for the first time, industry is now responsible for making sure that their products, their packaging, is either recyclable or compostable and that it's using recycled content in the manufacturing of that packaging. The new law also requires producers to reduce plastic in single-use products by 25% in 10 years. We estimated that that source reduction component alone will result in approximately 21 million metric tons less plastic in the state of California over the next 10 years, which is roughly equivalent to 26 times the weight of the Golden Gate Bridge. The California law also requires that by 2032, 65% of single plastic items sold in California be recycled, a rate Brandon says is at least six times higher than the national average. We've seen plastic everywhere from the deepest ocean trench, the most remote island shorelines, even to our own bodies and our own food. Bruce Olszewski specializes in recycling at San Jose State University. Because of California's size, he says the law could have an impact even as far away as Switzerland, where he did field research. It was incredibly depressing to see the massive recession of these uh, glaciers. The more that we do to close open loops through materials, the faster we can get to resolving um, this global climate crisis. The California law was negotiated with plastic industry representatives at the table. To get them there, it took a ballot measure that would have imposed fees on single-use plastic waste. What's different here in California this time around is that um, on the ballot in November, there was a ballot measure which would have been a major tax on plastic packaging to create a major cleanup fund and to invest in recycling infrastructure. And they did not like that ballot measure at all. So we would never have gotten this law in place if the ballot measure had not been there uh, to force them to the table. The American Chemistry Council sent CGTN a statement saying, we want to be a partner in sustainability so society can retain the benefits plastics provide to our modern lives while ending plastic waste in our environment. The law also forms a producer responsibility organization made up of plastic industry representatives. They'll need to raise $5 billion over 10 years to cut plastic pollution and mitigate damage. Bork New CGTN, Berkeley, California.